Flux 1.1 Pro is here and it's more powerful than ever. The images look incredibly realistic and it's packed with impressive new features. But how does Flux 1.1 Pro compare to the previous Flux 1 Pro as well as other top AI generators like Ideogram 2.0 and Midjourney? In this video, I'll be testing this latest model and comparing it with those alternatives. I will also tell you where to use it for free. So, let's dive in. I am using the latest Flux 1.1 Pro in this site called Together.ai and it's pretty simple to use. I will tell you more about this platform as well as some other platforms where you can use Flux 1.1 Pro for free. But first let's test the model. Let's start with something simple like a boy in the city and see what we get. As you can see, the output is a typical flux generation. It's too polished and the background overly blurry, which is common in flux images. Now, you might wonder how to get the more realistic images I showed earlier. Here's a cool trick. Change the prompt to img underscore and then any four numbers like 1020 and then .cr2. This simulates a file from a Canon camera. You'll see the result is more amateur looking, grainy and less polished, like an average photo taken by a regular person. Let's try a few more. Now instead of this, you can also add in a simple prompt. So for example, let's write selfie here and see what happens. And look at that, this is a really normal photo. I mean this does not look AI generated. It's important to note that this only works with very simple one word prompts like cat or dog. If you try something more complex like a woman at a bar, it tends to look too perfect and AI generated. Here's another trick. Instead of typing a full description, try entering a random word like selfie followed by a file extension. You can also type random numbers followed by an underscore and a keyword like passport photo with a file extension. As you can see, the realism is incredible. If you saw this on social media without context, you'd never guess it was AI generated. While the text may not make sense, the image looks just like a real ID. It's absolutely mind blowing. Now, I'm going to test some challenging prompts and compare the results from Flux 1.1 Pro with other top models like Flux 1 Pro, Ideogram 2.0 and Midjourney 6.1. This will give you a clear view of which image generator delivers the best results. For the first image, I'll use the prompt, a hyper-realistic, high-resolution photo of no face from Studio Ghibli's Spirited Away giving a speech at a TED Talk event. I applied the same prompt across Midjourney, Ideogram and the earlier Flux 1 Pro model and here are the side by side results. For the second image, I'll use the prompt, a fat Korean maid crying on the floor with a Hispanic woman with dark red hair yelling at her in a mansion. Dramatic, hyper realistic photography. I used the same prompt with Midjourney, Ideogram and the earlier Flux 1 Pro model and here are the images they generated. Let's move on to the third image. This time, I want to see how each model handles text. I'll use the prompt, a photo of a teenage female model wearing an oversized white t-shirt with the words Coco and Comfy. Here's how Mid Journey, Ideogram and the previous Flux 1 Pro model handled the same prompt. Now for the final image, I wanted to challenge each model's creativity with a more complex prompt. The prompt is a dusty, dark, doomed African landscape with half the face of a lion and half the face of a doctor in a lab coat superimposed over the clouds, roaring. Here's how the other models responded to the same prompt. Which AI image generator do you think did the best? Let me know in the comments. There are several platforms where you can use Flux 1.1 Pro. The first one is Together.ai, where signing up for a free account gives you $5 in credits, allowing you to generate a few dozen images. Another platform is Rubberband.com, which also offers free sign-up and around 10 free image generations with Flux 1.1 Pro. You will find the link to these platforms in the video description. So, there you have it, a detailed look at Flux 1.1 Pro, how it compares to other top image generators like Ideogram and Midjourney, along with some cool tricks for more realistic results. If you enjoyed this side-by-side -side comparison and found the tips helpful, make sure to give this video a like and share it with others. And of course, if you want more content on the latest AI tools and updates, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.